Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome to my channel. I'm Cami. Today's video is going to be a what's for dinner. I have three very, very, very simple meals. We've just been trying to make it easy. Well, I've been trying to make meals easy um, lately just because I just don't feel like cooking up a whole lot. Um, and I never honestly know what I'm going to be in the mood for while I'm pregnant. So there's, yeah, so this is just really three very, very simple meal ideas, but I do have a what's for dinner playlist in case you want to go check those out as well. They do have different other meals that I've made, um, in case you're looking for like simplicity and just not a whole bunch of stuff because I am definitely not a chef, but I hope you guys enjoy it anyway. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so for this first meal, I'm going to be making pizza and I'm just going ahead and cooking up some sausage. So this is just mild sausage. I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid. Wasn't looking for a lover. After it's done cooking, I go ahead and drain it off and then I'm using this pizza crust so I made sure that it was thin and crispy and then I'm going ahead and squirting some olive oil and pressing it all over with a spoon. After I'm done using the olive oil, I'm just going ahead and putting some marinara sauce on. And this is just one of the ones we happen to have at our store. There wasn't a whole lot of marinaras to choose from, but it was actually pretty good. My husband has been using it for other things as well. But I just go ahead and spread the marinara around with the same spoon and get it all over the pizza. And then of course I'm adding my toppings next, which is just mozzarella cheese. And then I'm dicing up, not really dicing, but cutting up pepperoni so that they're smaller on the pizza and going ahead and adding that sausage in there as well.
Guessing everybody knows Fire on the floor Seeking out the door We're just getting started late Now I really want some more Girl, you know that there ain't nobody Moving like you, you know you got me I love the things you do Me, I'm getting into trouble But I just wanna be your lover Cause you're making me feel So after I'm done adding the pepperoni and the sausage, I added just a tiny bit more cheese and then it went in the oven to bake. It only took like, I think like nine or 10 minutes to cook. And this is what it turned out to look like. It was really delicious. My son also ate it. So this next meal is just some little steaks. These are little sirloins and I'm just topping it with my favorite seasonings, which is of course Slap Your Mama, some seasoning salt, and then some pepper. And I go ahead and fry them up in the my skillet for like two minutes and then I stick them in the oven. For me, being pregnant, it's important that I don't have any red meat or like not done meat so I had to keep mine in the oven a little bit longer than my husband's to make sure you know that it wasn't all bloody on the inside but it was really delicious and I like cooking them this way just because we don't really cook that on the grill and this works perfectly fine for us. So for the side with the little steaks, I just went ahead and did some corn on the cob and then this rice. This is what I was very yummy. So this next meal is very simple. We're just going ahead and cutting up some potatoes, dicing them up pretty small, but not like super small. And I'm gonna go ahead and put those and hot dogs in a skillet. I would do this with sausage, but my husband does not like smoked sausage. So we had to use hot dogs.
after rinsing off the potatoes and having them soak for a little bit, I added some vegetable oil and some favorite seasonings, which of course includes the Slappy Mama. And then I also used some ranch and some salt and pepper. I'm just adding some butter to the skillet and then I'm just gonna go ahead and fry up those potatoes and after they're pretty much done cooking I went ahead and put them back into my little bowl and went ahead and fried up the hot dogs. I'm the kind of person that whenever I have smoked sausage or hot dogs I like the outsides to be a little crispy. If that's not for you that's totally fine but that's personally how I like it. And at the end, I just mixed everything together and this is what it looked like and it was very yummy and I remember my grandma making this for me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and check out my other playlists.